Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. My basic concern has always been, since I've become a man and put away childish things, was to see grown people reacting like grown people, experiencing grown people things, making proper decisions, acting like human beings and not like wild animals, acting like people who cared about one another, acting like people who were put together by a power that concerned with them, a power that was able to put their bodies together with piece by piece and hold it together. Being able to do that, able to create different individuals in such a way that with certain practices they would be able to hold them together like that body with arms and legs and stuff held together. My great grandmother who raised me taught me that because my grandparents died. When my grandparents died, my great grandmother who raised me took in a total of three of her other grand, of their grandkids. In other words, my great grandmother raised four kids after raising twelve kids of her own. She raised four kids that were not her own. They were her grands and great grand. So I want to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, that means something. I want you to know that since I grew up, I've known that Republicans, conservative as they might be, or whatever they might be, they are wonderful, good, outstanding people, but they are not perfect. They missing a lot. Democrats. Democrats, they got all wonderful, outstanding people, no doubt, but they're not perfect. They got all kinds of problems. Black people are beautiful, wonderful people, but they're not perfect. They got all kinds of problems. White men, white people are not perfect. They're beautiful people, but they got all kinds of problems. So we got a compilation of men, women, white and black, young and old, who are beautiful people, but do not have the ability to create that which is harmonious amongst themselves. Now, because of my relationship with my understanding with myself, I've always seen that it be, as being a possibility. The only thing it is that makes me see that we do not and cannot express that during these times is that we have never been taught that. We have never been taught to love, to care about one another. For one another, you might have been taught about it in the family, you might have been talking about it in your group, but not about everybody. We've been taught to hate. We've been taught to take this land and that was okay. We've been taught to treat people as slaves and that was okay. We've been taught to put other folks down and that was okay. We've been taught to take advantage of other people and make it build ourselves up and that was okay. All of that was crooked. All of that was wrong. We didn't mean it to be wrong. We just didn't know any better and we did it. So ladies and gentlemen, I understand that every man, every human being on the face of earth needs the basic human rights, food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, transportation, infrastructure, and having the intellect to to do these kinds of things. They should exist and nothing should prevent them from existing from a thinking, qualified, caring, compassionate people. And when that doesn't exist, it won't happen. Now me, I ran for president at least six different times. Why? Because I know the score about how to fix this stuff. Now I can't fix it, I just know how to fix it. To fix it takes we the people. No Donald Trump, no one person, no black person, no white person, no man, no woman, no independent, no different, no uh, Democrat or Republican, conservative or liberal. It takes you, the people, pursuing the same kinds of ambitions. I know this. You don't, but I do. This is why I walked out of the military with Ronald Reagan because Ronald Reagan didn't understand this. That his plans had nothing to do with this. And when I recognized he couldn't fix this, I didn't want to have nothing to do with the military. And I walked out because I cared about the American people, even Ronald Reagan. I've come out of jail the military and I've done a lot of things. I've protested, I've been to jail, I've traveled across this country. I, even when I was overseas, I was talking about the kinds of things trying to share there where I'm trying to share here. I've come here, I, I, I'm so convinced that I know what I'm talking about. I've committed crimes against the state of Minnesota or we want to say the, the state of the United States to get your attention. Nothing bad, just took some money because I know you don't play that stuff, but I wanted your attention, I wanted your focus so I caused the powers that be don't want you to hear what I'm saying, telling you, and they won't tell you. They'll tell you if I pay them a million dollars, they'll tell you. But how can I tell you pay them a million dollars to tell you the truth of life? I had said one time if I won that lottery, I would pay all that money to tell you the truth of life. But I realized that after I paid all that money to tell you the truth of life, after all that money was gone, and the people that took that money to make sure that you heard the truth of life would take that money, and the truth of life wouldn't have meant nothing to you. You'd have still been in the same position. So I decided that I would let this be my last post. My last post is about bringing unity and peace 
and prosperity, freedom, and joy to every American citizen that can be transformed all over the world. To make sure that your needs, your wants, and your desires are met at your leisure. You don't have to lie, you don't have to cheat, you don't have to steal, you don't have to kill, you don't have to terrorize, you don't have to create hatred and racism and bigotry. You don't have to do any of that. Now, I have been given a plan, at least coming out of me, that would make America beautiful and anybody that tried this and practiced it, beautiful. But for, for the reasons that I have given, that message is not accepted. Well, I cannot say anything new and I cannot force you to change. Everything that is required, I have already said it and I got it uh, recorded and posted on YouTube or Facebook somewhere. So if you're ever looking for the answer how to get out of this, hell you created, Eddie Morgan has already shared it with you. Just look it up. But right now, I'm tired. I, I ran for your president for those different times because I was young.